Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm KPG and welcome back to Paper Mario the Origami King. Today, we are at the top of Sea Tower and it is finally time for us to take down the purple streamer. The fourth of the five streamers we need to take down based on uh, what we see with these toads here. It would appear that we're going to be fighting um, some tape dispenser, a roll of tape, something like that. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Um... And yeah, so I guess we're continuing the theme of fighting office supplies, um, which, I don't know, I guess maybe makes sense because origami is sort of like an art, arts and crafts type thing, so I guess maybe it makes sense now that I'm thinking about that. But anyways, the time has come, so let's get right into it. No further delay. So after this, we'll only have one more streamer, and then we should be able to get into Princess Peach's castle, which will be pretty cool. Um, and yeah, we can take on Ollie. But anyway, for now, let's take on the task at hand. Hey, we reached the top. Wow, look how high up we are. And look what else is up here. We finally found the end of the purple streamer. But how are we supposed to get up there and smash the spool? Oh, I guess we're not fighting the boss straight away. I'm, I guess we have some puzzles we need to solve. Or maybe not. Hey, I'm elevating here! Or maybe we fight the boss first and then have some puzzles. Yep, tape dispenser. The shifty sticker. Tape. Alright. Here it is. You Mario, I got a message for you from the boss. How about you come over here so I can give it to you? And you, origami kid, be a good goyle and run back to Ali. It's past your Betty by time, capiche? You two are gonna try and take this streamer out of the picture, eh? I come in strips too, you know. You got a grudge with things that wrap over other things? You think I'm some kind of joke, eh? Er, eh? <laughs> Guess we know who stuck those toads to the tower now. Sheesh, how did, all those har how did all these harmless origami-making tools end up with such tacky personalities? Hey, I'm not tacky. I'm sticky. That's it. You want a piece of me? Well, you're gonna get it. Alright, we got mob boss tape. Let's do this. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so it seems uh, so like arts and crafts um, supplies would be the correct. Um, way to describe these bosses. <laughs> I got a feeling this is gonna be a fun one. Come on, you two. Throw your best attacks at me. We'll see what sticks. Alright, we gotta stick it to him then. Pretty much coming from the roll of tape itself. Okay, so... Since I have no idea how to fight this thing at this point in time, I'd say we need that, um, that letter right there. That's probably pretty <laughs> pretty useful. Um, I don't know if we can also get this treasure chest. I mean, we can, but it's either that or we get this um, we get this attack action thing. Yeah, because we're not able to we're not able to do all three in one go, but I feel like this letter is going to be more important. Hit the tape dispenser with your hammer to break it. All right, well, it sounds like that's ex what we need to do. All right, well, good. See? This is why this is why it's a good thing we got that that uh, note. Because otherwise, who knows? Maybe I would have tried jumping on it. I mean, it would only have taken me two tries to figure that out. Wait, did that say 16 HP? And that still did that little of its bar of health? Yikes. That's okay, guys, we're in for a long battle. I mean, unless it takes a bunch of damage when it's dispenser breaks uh, so I don't think we need another clue I think we've pretty much got the general idea of what we need to do so I'm f I mean we can honestly still get <laughs> we can still get it though we can still get it and attack it and get the chest this is what my ideal first turn would have been at the da tape dispenser on all four sides to smash the whole thing well you know what that's hey why were so many panels hiding that chest I don't know, we'll take it. Hey, don't go messing up my hard work. You gotta tidy up, you know. Can't leave no evidence. Jeez, what kind of evidence? Alright, so we gotta hit all four sides. 
Uh, so we gotta try to get um, pretty much around to everywhere on him. Alright, so we got about half of him now. Spencer Slam. I did about the same as last time, even though I blocked this time. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I feel like yeah, I feel like it did a very similar amount. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. I don't know. Alright, but yeah, now we have a lot of stuff. We have double action commands, double attacks. I don't actually know... Is there a way we can zoom in? No. Which side is it? I think it's the right side now that we're... No, yes? The right side, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I need to figure this out quick, though. Uh... All right, well, another chest would probably be nice. Oh, boy. I think I screwed this up. Mm. All right. Um, get that out of the way. Get this over here. I missed. Yeah. I, I was trying to see if I could make any last-minute adjustments, but I didn't have enough time. Okay, but yeah, it is the right side. Spencer Smack, out. Oh, yeah, we need to get some health. We need to get some health, especially because we don't have any one-up mushrooms. I still need to buy those again at some point. But yeah, right side of the dispenser should be where we need to hit. Uh, okay, so if we go that way, we'll get the letter, run over to the on-off switch... Get a heart. Get an extra action. And get an attack off. Yeah? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. That's not how that works. Hmm. I miscalculated, but we could put this here. I think I'm going to go for extra action over um, heart because worst case scenario, I can just use a mushroom. Any panels Mario uses gets get sneakily stashed in that chest. Oh, so that's where they all go. Okay. So if I ever need one, that's where to get it. Or if I ever need panels, just go for the chest. Um, second one, I'll just use a shiny mushroom. We have 15 of them, so I'm really not too concerned about wasting them. Okay, we got an excellent, which does two more damage. One more side of him, which based on how this is shaping would be top left. He would be top left from where we are now. Or like, or like straight up. It would, it would, it would be kind of like where this um, thousand fold arms panel is, is where we need to go. Also, fire value mental and... Yeah, Fire Valumental and Thousand Fold Arms are the special panels for this battle. I don't know exactly um, how they're going to help us specifically. But I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out. Okay. Okay, this would get us to an attack thing in almost the right spot. Uh, maybe that's a, maybe that's close enough. We're just gonna go with that. This might be close enough. I don't know. I think I think we might be, or maybe it is. I don't know. We'll see. Um, if this breaks it. Uh. Well, it cracked it. Do we have to, like, actually repeatedly break? Or, like, repeatedly hit all the sides and then, like, in order to break them? Like, does it take multiple hits everywhere? <sighs> I don't know. It would be nice to get some more... Or to get some information on what the fire value mental power would do for us here. Or the thousandfold arms, for that matter. I don't know how exactly they would be helpful. 
Uh, that's fine. Yeah, we'll grab the chest, get out uh, the panels we just used, and I guess for right now we're just going to keep trying to break the dispenser, and because I think if we can do that and expose it, it's expose its weakness. Oh, you know what? Maybe we actually need to use our thousandfold arms now that it's cracked. That would make sense. And then once it falls out of the dispenser, use fire elemental power, maybe? I mean, that makes sense to me. I don't know. I don't know what that's worth, but it makes sense to me. Okay, so letter, heart, times two power. Chest. Thousandfold arms. This is almost a... <laughs> this is like a perfect... This is actually, yeah, pretty much just like a perfect... Uh, route here. To hit the dispenser on all four sides to smash the whole thing is what it says. Um, I don't know. I guess, like I said, we can try thousandfold arms, see what happens. If we can just wail on it, we might be able to break it faster. None of these notes have been giving me any hints, so... Alright, let's try it! Rush time! Okay, well we broke that side. So maybe we need to do thousandfold arms on every side? Um, or just maybe that was a faster way to do a bunch of damage? I don't know. I don't think fire value mental power will do much of anything to it until we break. Until we break the dispenser, so I guess for now we're just going to keep trying. Uh, we're going to keep trying to... Um, just hit it normally, I guess. Uh... Hmm. I don't want to attack it from... Two range away, but uh, that one's unnecessary. Whatever. Yeah, we're not getting anything. I couldn't find a way to make anything work that w wouldn't just screw everything else up. We needed to get that on switch anyway. We needed to get that on switch out of the chest anyway, so it's not all lost. And this dispenser really isn't doing too much to us, or the dispenser slam isn't really doing much to us. Uh, so on switch would be ideal. On switch would be ideal. And then we could just do thousand fold arms again. But if we could get something else, maybe... That would be better. So note on switch, extra action, attack. Yeah, we'll just turn it on for now. Yeah, we already know this. I'm not really going there for the letter. I'm just going there for what else I can get from it. Because that's a lot of good stuff. Um, we're still not low on health. Um, so I'm not too concerned about dying. Let's just smack it with the hammer. See if we can just break it normally with our hammer. Yeah, we can. All right. There's nothing to hit. It's already been destroyed. Huh. Well, shoot. This side's as busted as, as busted as it's going to get. We need to hit a different spot. All right. Bottom right would be where it would be now. Dispenser slam. Yeah, not doing too much damage to us. Bottom right is where we need to hit now. So I'm going to guess... I mean, thousandfold arms is good and all, but I don't think it's necessary. So I'd rather save the on switch that we activated because I have a feeling we're going to need fire value mental power to finish the boss off as soon as we um, as soon as we break the dispenser and everything so this would get us there Okay, this gets us a heart, a letter, and then an attack. Or an action. 
Yeah, 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 we know. All right, I, I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. I forgot I need to actually line it up in a specific spot. Well, what we could do is we could try jumping on the tape, see if that does anything. I don't think so, but maybe. Or sticky snag. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, not so tough without the jumps, are you? <laughs> well, I guess so. All right, we can't jump. Sticky whip. Sticky whip it really didn't do that much. I mean, it looked cool. The animation was right. All right, top left is where we need to go. Top left. So we need to end like here. All right, we need this arrow. Well, we could buy time, honestly. We can afford to buy time. I'm gonna give myself another 10 seconds for now. Just cause. I always forget we can just buy time. Um. There. Dang. Wait. Okay, I think I think we got it. I think I think I think we have what we need. Yes. Perfect. The side doesn't really crack that hard. So you know what? Let's use our flashy hammer. I want to see if we can break it. Bang! 28 damage. It's still not enough. Dang. That side had a lot of HP left. Huh. Alright, well, one more hit should do the trick. We still have to be... So now it's bottom right is where we need to go. Ah, uh, that's... Sh that should be close enough to bottom right. Yeah. All right, this should be close enough. Yeah, I think I think this will count. Yeah, it looks like it counts. And this might be enough. Bang. Wah! Oh. Well, we broke the dispenser. Eh, eh, eh. What? We didn't finish it off? Of course not. You two got some noise busting up my precious tailor-made dispenser like that. It was worth a fortune, not to mention the sentimenti va sentimental value. If that's how you want it, I might as well dispense with the pleasantries. Time to seal the deal. <laughs> oh, what is... Oh, he's grabbing on to a spike thing? Uh, that's the part where you usually tear the tape off, I guess. See what you made me do. You got me breaking out the doity tricks. All right, let's wrap this up, eh? <laughs> Whoa, this thing is out of control. It's a no good cheating gangster. And the tape, the tape curl even looks like the slick, the slicked hair. Hey, I'm attacking over here. Hey, look at me. I'm on a roll. Oh, it's it's attack filled back all the way back up to the top. Yeah, you're on a roll. Oh, he's placing tape over the place. <sighs> now that's what I call a stick-up. <laughs> it taped up those panels. That's uh, that's not very intimidating. I assume it's going to still be annoying. As we probably get stuck in it. And now he's doing the rubber band thing where I think... Because he stuck the tape on the ground, and now it's um, no, it's now it's no longer a part of him. But I assume it's he's gonna re-grab it onto himself, kind of like what Rubber Band did, and it's going to suck. Uh, I don't know. Let's try using 
Fire value mental power, I don't know. Whatever, you know. I don't have any other ideas, so. Sure, we'll even do times two power. Alright, what does this say? Strips of tape get stuck. Oh, the strips of tape stuck to the ground are vulnerable to fire. Well, it sounds like that's one way to do this. <laughs> Burn up the uh, tape on the panels. But I don't know if this will actually do damage to him specifically. But we can hope. <laughs> we can always hope it does. Hey, it does. It does do damage to him as well. Nice. Of course, we can just burn that sticky tape away. Nice work, Mario. So it actually would just be better... Uh, oh, ow. It would actually just be better to let him spread a lot of tape first. Because if we can get him to spread a lot of his tape on the ground and then use the value mental power, that would be pretty good for us. Hmm. But now we're going to have to hit the on-off switch again. Darn it. <laughs> no. Whoa. Oh, you jerk. I have to move two at a time? Okay. Oh, I can't even move it certain ways either. Well, I know I need that on panel. I guess we're just going to sacrifice our action to get the panel. So it looks like we actually can walk on the tape. Um, it's just that it makes it hard for us to move at times. All right, well, he's sticking more tape on the ground, which might not be good. But at the same time, I don't know. I have a feeling we, we're going to need to use our thousand-fold arms at some point because, I mean, the, the value mental power is doing some damage, but it's just not enough. Now, now we have to move the whole thing. Oh, my word. All right. So we got to move this kind of stuff if we want to... Do anything special. So we have to have that. Okay. I don't know. Well, it looks like we got a heart, so that's helpful. Yeah, the tape isn't... <sighs> the tape doesn't, like, do anything to us specifically, but it's making it really hard to move this and try to set stuff up. Yeah, this is not good. We need... Value mental power now. <laughs> Which means we also need to get that treasure chest open. Oh my word, we're gonna need to buy a decent amount of time here. <laughs> I need time to think uh, th think this through. Okay, so if we go here, we'd get a letter, we'd get some health. Okay. Maybe we need to uh, try to... Reverse, like, solve this backwards. Like, go in, inward out. I, f I feel like that might be a better way to look at this. Because we need the chest. We need the chest desperately. The only way we get that is by either... No, it would have to be this one arrow. We need more time. We need so much more time. I don't know how to... Ah, I don't know what to do here. So 
if we go here, this would take us to the letter, it would take us to a heart, and then it would end us with doing absolutely nothing. I don't think there's a single row that can move on its own, which is really bad. And there are a few of these columns that can't move at all. I wonder if you could get softlocked in this match. Or if there's always a way to get what you need. This doesn't look good at all. So if we go... Because I can't move like pretty much anything, so we have to use a pre-made route. I think. This one would be the best pre-made route. Get us a note, it would get us some health. Oh, we can't move the chest. Oh my word. I don't think there's anything we can do. Dang, I wonder if you can get soft locked. Use the thousand fold arms to grab the take by its y end and yank it all out. So we need to use thousand fold arms and then we need to use. And then we need to use our value mental power. Man, now would be a great time to have a one up mushroom. Hey, I'm accelerating here! Oh! Thank you. Thank you so much for taking your stuff back. That was getting hard to deal with. Okay, so I don't think you can get soft locked then. Okay, so our first priority has to be getting um, thousand fold arms. Yank all the tape out. And then we need to burn all the tape. We need to yank and then burn. Alright, so this is doable. These two are the only ones that move together, I think. Although he locked the columns, which kind of sucks. But other, other, this is completely doable compared to everything else. Um, da -da 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 -da. So this would give us. A big heart, and then thousand fold arms. The only thing missing would be the chest. That would be the only other thing we would ideally get. But that's fine. We need to yank this tape out. I hope I hope it can't regenerate after I yank it out, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. Let's yank it out. Let's see what this does. All right. Give it to me. Lift. Mario, now's the time! Pull that tape! Yeah, get that out of here! Get that out of here! Okay, so Thousand Fold Arms is actually our main method of doing damage in general. Uh, the Fire Value Mental Power is just for getting rid of the tape on the map. But thousand fold arms is what we want the most. But right now, what we want the most is that chest. That chest is what we need. We can guarantee it. Uh, but if we can get there in a different way, that would be better. So if we did this. Um, right, we can't move that. More time! This is the first time I've really used this, and I've got to say, it's helpful. <laughs> Don't know why I haven't been using it more often. Okay, so this would give us a note, some health, and the, the chest, and an action, which would allow me to heal myself. 
Okay. We'll go with that. Yes, yes, we know this. Right, so we'll do this so we can get some of our panels back. And then on the next turn, we will try to use the on-off switch. And right here, we'll just use... Um, we'll take the opportunity to use a mushroom, heal ourselves back up to full, so that we can take any hit that this thing throws at us. I definitely don't want to be living on the edge here. That block was a very late block, but I still got it. Alright, one more rollout, and then I think he's going to suck everything back into himself. Oh, what is he doing? You lose the arrows! Oh, he's going berserk. This means we absolutely need to use the Velumental Power if we can. Which, which we might be able to. Oh, yes, we can. This gives us an on switch, the chest, which would actually spit out another on off switch, I think. Uh, because we would have just used one, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but then it would also give us a letter. And it would give us the Valumental stuff. The, the Valumental uh, panel. Which is probably what we need. So, yes. On off switch, chest, note, um, Valumental panel. Okay. Because it's going berserk, and usually when it goes. When an, when it, usually when a boss starts going berserk in this game. The tape spins too fast to grab. Try burning it with fire. Well, there we go. <laughs> it just confirmed it. Yeah, usually when the bosses start going berserk like that in this game, it usually means that you need to use a Valumental Power or you're going to take a huge amount of damage. We learned that the hard way when we fought the Water Valumental, which was our only game over so far, I think. So the Water Valumental. All right. But that burns up all the tape. And does 20 damage, which is pretty good. Which means now just one or two more rounds of thousand-fold arms, and this thing should be dead. Especially if it's lowering its HP like that just by throwing out some tape. Also, this means the amount of tape it can... The maximum amount of tape it can throw out on the field will eventually be um, basically nothing. <laughs> which is pretty good. So if we move this out of the way, we could just get it right now. Um, I mean, we can also throw in... Let's throw in a heart just to be safe. I would do times 2 damage, but I don't know. We might need to, you know, do something where it's like... Take down his last 1 HP with the Fire Valumental Power or something. I don't know. But yeah, let's do this thing. Alright, come here, tape boy. Get ready. You are about to meet your end, hopefully. Get out of here. Yeah, I think we yoinked off all the tape. There's no more of him left. We got rid of it all. Let's go. Oh yeah, he's all dried up. Ah, it hoits. It hoits. Don't do this to me. I'm a changed adhesive. I won't stick nobody up no more, I swear. Boss, Ollie, you gotta do something. You gotta avenge me. Um, um, eh, forget about it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> eh, doesn't matter. It's too late for you anyway. And hey, with that, we have destroyed him. <laughs> All the toads fall to their death. Nah, they're paper, they'll be fine. But we do have the op opportunity to take down the streamer now. Wait, what are all those other things for then? All right, we can reach the streamer now, Mario. You know what to do. I do, but what's what's with all these things? Are, th are these statues gonna show the way to the next area maybe? Because there's nothing we can, we can't do it until we take down the streamer. But it definitely seems like something important. So yeah, maybe it will be um, leading us to the final streamer. I don't know. Whatever. But for now, we have earned our ability to take down the purple streamer. So let's do it. <laughs> All right. Get this thing out of here. Get that out of here.
I still don't know why, but this music just gives me Breath of the Wild vibes. <laughs> I don't know why. Also, how is that one streamer enough to keep that castle under control? Like, <laughs> what? Whatever. Purple streamer cleared. Congratulations. Hey, thanks, game. And our bag of confetti increases its maximum capacity. Yay! Now we can fill in more holes without having to refill our confetti. But when we're empty, it'll take even longer to fill. <laughs> Hooray! Now there's just one streamer left. I don't think we've seen the last one yet, have we? It could be anywhere! It could be hiding right under our noses! It's, yeah, Olivia, it's, it's literally right there. So I, I have a feeling, yeah, those four statue things are actually going to be the way we open up the path to that green streamer. Would make sense to me, whatever. It could be anywhere! Mario, like, uh, there? Do we even know what color it is? We took down the red one, then the blue one, then yellow, purple, green. Green is what's left. Oh. <laughs> huh? Has that green streamer been there this whole time? Yeah, apparently the purple one just covered it up so well. It goes up and up and up. Gosh, it's going up above the clouds. Is the last one going to be in the sky? How in the world are we supposed to follow that? I can't float up that high, and it looks way too high to jump, even for you, Mario. Maybe there's some kind of hint up here? Wishful thinking, but you never know. I have a feeling I could figure it out. Let four fold into one and point you toward paradise. They always talk about paradise. Gosh, are we going to heaven in this game? I mean, what? It didn't... I mean, wasn't in, wasn't there a heaven and hell area essentially in Super Paper Mario? <laughs> or it was something like that. Point you toward paradise. Okay, well, yeah, this is what I I had a feeling of. So we can't get to the statue yet, but all right, we got to use our volumental power to open the way. Uh, ice. All right, we got to use our volumental powers. And I'm going to guess these statues will show us, or will, yeah, we'll probably open the way to that green streamer, like like I was thinking originally. Oh, I thought it was the next streamer. I didn't know it was green, but, I mean, I guess I could have guessed, seeing as how, when I saw the color in the cutscene, but whatever. Doesn't matter. All right, there's one statue. That's crazy, guys. We're going to be entering the final area of the game. Besides Peach's Castle, I guess. That'll be the final, final area. Um, but we will be getting, going to our final streamer. So that's going to be interesting. Um, okay, these ones just match what the Velumental is itself. Like, that's a statue of the Fire Velumental. We have to use the Fire Velumental's power to access the statue. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. Make it any harder for me. <laughs> Or make it super hard for me, basically, is whatever. Oh, gosh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's like... It's, uh, uh, I don't even know. My brain just stopped working mid-sentence, so I'm not going to even try finishing. I was just trying to joke and say that... Basically imply that this is incredibly easy. <laughs> But my brain just decided not to work. Okay, water volumental. Because water statue. I don't know. Whatever. <sighs> Alright, not much not much left to do but just to knock out these last two statues. And hey, we're even doing it in reverse order. We did ice, fire, now water. And then we're going to end it off with the earth volumental. So what, is the last one going to be like a bird valumental type thing? An air valumental? The last airbender of Paper Mario? Uh, Earth valumental. Lower the ground! Alright, we don't need to see this. We've seen you transform into all these guys multiple times. Let's get on with it. Alright, the path is opened. And with this statue, something will probably happen, right? Well, there's a laser. 
All right. Well, that's not what I was expecting. Is that a... Is that a beam that just directly transport transports us up there? That light! It's going... Pow! Right through the clouds! The light! The light is calling to us! Well, let's go towards the light. Oh, I mean... I, it's probably I'm not generally a good thing to want to do, going towards the light, but... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess this is the way to paradise, so... Yeah, maybe, yeah. I guess if this is the way to heaven, I suppose you would need to go towards the light. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. Alright, saving. And this should be the final area of the game, then. I would think. Shangri Spa. And there's the green streamer. What is this place? Where are we? It seems like we're up pretty high, but it's too cloudy to see much. Hey, there's the green streamer! It just kind of trails off into the clouds. Should we try to see where it leads? We should, but... Not right now. <laughs> we should, but... We'll save that for the next episode. We got plenty of stuff accomplished today. So I think um, it's a good spot to end the video. We just got done beating um, tape. The tape boss, tape dispenser and tape roll um uh we beat the boss we were able to take down the purple streamer and unlock the path to the final area of the game shangri spa and yeah in the next episode we will begin exploring this area and making our way toward the final streamer so once we take that down we'll be able to head back to peach's castle and take on Ollie and beat the game. <laughs> so, yeah, we're getting closer to the end, so that's pretty crazy. <laughs> I just think it's funny that we're going to finish this way we're going to finish this series way before um I finish my Fire Emblem 3 Houses series, even though I started my Fire Emblem 3 Houses series like a month before this one. That one's going to last <laughs> a few months after this one. Which is pretty wild. Um but yeah, in any case, that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It would really help out, and I would really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, like I said, next episode, we'll start exploring the Shangri Spa, which is supposedly paradise, and see what is going on. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace!